two, one, go. Hey guys, it's Nick here, back with another video. Now today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the execute tech command. Yep. I will show you how to use the execute command a while ago, and there's also the execute command. So let's show you how to use it. Um, just going to get around. So, the way it works is... Well, just like any execute command, execute at P or at A, but I'm, I'm going to send for at A. Um, I don't know why. Squiggly line, squiggly line, squiggly line. Detect. Um, then I'm going to... So, then I'm going to put the coordinates of where I want it to detect for a block. So, in this case, I want it to detect for a block underneath me so I do minus one on the second one which is X I think so if it finds a block underneath me because of how I configured it at the part um, after the detect if it detects gold underscore block zero because that's the damage data value thing whatever you want to call it then it will say hi so i'm gonna set this to repeat and always active i'm gonna break a block down there i'm gonna make it gold because i'm a rich jerk and i'll never share it with anyone no i'm just kidding so when i stand on this as you can see check gets spammed with hi um but you could set it to whatever you want. I could set it to um, effect okay. at p okay. levitation. I don't know why I call, say it like that. Um, levitation one one hundred. So where? So what it's doing is it's testing if underneath me there is gold block and if there is it will give me levitation 100 for one second when as you can see it is working like a charm um this you you could send it to whatever you want really if you have like i don't know red wall that kills you when you stand on it you could that it, it really depends it doesn't activate when you're next thing and to prove that this is not a scam, nothing is underneath it. And I can place it wherever I want and it will still activate. Uh, so, yeah. Pretty cool. Um, you can place it wherever you want in the world. So if you want to have like a jump pad. Yeah. Um, so I could have it here when I stand on it. And let's say I decided to myself, hey, you, I want to make, I don't, I'm going to make it. A dip. I don't want to have it be gold. I want to have it be diamond, and I'm going to set, and diamond is going. To uh, I don't know, nausea and bl blindness 155 for 3 seconds and the gold block is going to give you, I don't know. Pretty cute. At P, squiggly line, squiggly line, detect, squiggly line, squiggly line, minus one, whatever you want it to be, really. You can also have it to detect if above you there's a block or to the side of you. It's really up to you. You could just edit the part by detect. Um, diamond underscore block zero 
effect at p no uh, blindness ness three two five five so this will also work um it really just all depends Yep, yeah, it, it really depends. Customizable. You can set it to whatever you want it to be set to. Um, yeah, if you have a bad advice, try not to stand on them. If you have a really bad advice, then don't stand on them. Then I wouldn't advise using this command. But, uh, you know, I'm going to try and decrease, no, I mean increase the amount of time. So I'm going to set it to 10, 255, just so you can see better. And I have no idea why this is not working. I think it's because my device is so laggy. But you can add as many as you want using the method that I just used. So you can do whatever you want. Um, for example, if I wanted to change around this one, I could make it so that it makes you um set block blah blah to blah dirt so you can make it do whatever you want the customization is endless. And I mean endless. So, really useful command. Very handy. Um, but sadly, I've got to end off this episode here. If you did enjoy it, make sure to do a thumbs up and all that stuff. So probably going to leave that just down in the description. Because I'm not going to do sell out moments like other YouTubers. Um, so, yeah.